the skip round Gwyneth Rally was followed for Wales today by Medwin Hughes. Through the Penmachno Forestry stage, reigning champion Welshman David Llewellyn in the Audi Quattro Works team car, having joined the team last November. Hot on his heels was Austin Rover's Little Flyer, driven by Tony Pond, in his four-wheel drive 2.6-litre V6 Metro. In the turbocharged four-wheel drive Sierra, veteran driver Roger Clark, with over 20 years of world-class rolling behind him. Driving the Talbot Sunbeam, Ian Hughes, with Brian Rainbow from Colwyn Bay. Ian, a garage owner in Mochtra, also runs his own rally school. In car 16, Bob Fowden and Howell Evans from Llanelli in the 3.5 Rover. David Llewellyn, having lost his early lead through tyre problems in the Penmachno forestry stages, was at the final stage nearly two minutes behind the leader. Tony Pond, having got over his initial problems, came back with real determination to win the Skip Brown Gwynedd Rally handsomely, with Llewellyn second and Clark third. Pond obviously delighted with his first win in the Metro. This car's got a, a very big future, and when we get the, the, the high-performance engine, this engine's uh, just an engine basically designed for testing, but the new engine's probably twice the power, oh, nearly yeah. 400 brake horsepower, and that, that will be very, very quick. I'm getting used to the car, getting used to the left foot braking, and uh, everything's coming along well, and I'm getting uh, quite confident with it. Do you feel confident for the future? Um, it's very much a learning year, but uh, I would like to think that we can produce a good result by the end of the year. Tony Pond, one of the quickest drivers to come from Britain, but so often without a really competitive car for major events. No doubt hoping that the new Metro MG, still in its development year, will continue to bring him success. At the world's very best drivers. Almost six months ago, David Llewellyn was clinching a national championship in the hills around Aberystwyth, when a careful fifth place in his Nissan 240 RS was enough to take the Shell Oils Autosport RAC title. It meant a tremendous finish to an amazingly up and down season when the young Haverford West driver was forced to race three different cars and the champagne by the seaside was celebrating a win that turned out to be the start of something very big. David's joined the full-time professionals now, handling the Audi Sport team's four-wheel drive Quattro in the International Class Open Championship. But on Saturday he was in Flandidno for another shot at the Skip Brown Gwynedd Rally. He won on the way to last year's success. David himself no longer competes at the junior level, of course, but any sort of race practice is vital as he gets to grips with his new vehicle. The same went for Tony Pond in his Austin MG Metro, the car most people felt would be the one to beat as the field set out for the North Wales forests. Unlike those two, Louise Aitken Walker in her escort is still chasing national championship points. But on Saturday, the girl who gave the one in such a good fight last season had to settle for second place in her class behind Alec Cannon. Some drivers finished a little further back, but up at the front, Roger Clark was pushing the favourites hard in his new four-wheel drive Ford Sierra Turbo. He came home third in the end, as way ahead in overall first place was another four-wheel drive car, with Tony Pond's Metro crossing the line a full two minutes clear. That meant David Llewellyn had to be happy with second spot, but all that experience will be more than worthwhile as he tunes up for the Circuit of Ireland rally that begins in Belfast at 